Welcome to the GE Video Academy. This video will demonstrate configuring the internal Modbus TCP to RTU conversion feature on SDX radios. Prior to firmware release 509, SDX radios could not make an internal conversion of Modbus TCP messages and an external translation device was required to perform the conversion. With the release of firmware 509, the external translation device is no longer needed as the SD radio can now internally translate Modbus TCP messages to RTU on the front end of the receiving device. It is important to note that this front end conversion is only available when the COM port connected to the RTU or PLC device is enabled as a terminal server. To enable TCP to RTU conversion, first open a web browser to the remote radio directly connected to the RTU or PLC device. Navigate to the terminal server configuration windows by selecting Configuration, then Features. First, enable Ethernet bridging by selecting On and Commit Configuration at the top of the page. Then continue scrolling down to either Terminal Server 1 configuration or Terminal Server 2 configuration depending on the COM port connected to the RTU or PLC device. Change the mode to TCP server socket, assign a desired port number, set the desired connection timeout, or select persistent connection. Selecting persistent connection disables the use of the connection timeout since once the connection is established, it will not disconnect. Turn the Modbus TCP to RTU conversion on by selecting on. Change the status to enabled and select Commit Configuration. Return to the Radio's Overview screen and note the IP address of the unit under Configuration. Open a web browser to the Access Point Radio or Master Polling Radio. Select Configuration and Features. Enable Ethernet Bridging by selecting On and Commit Configuration. The Head Polling Unit will now send TCP messages directly to the remote via its IP address and receive a serial response on the connected COM port. To display the feature at work, I will attempt to send Modbus TCP messages to the remote with RTU conversion disabled. To do this, I will disable TCP to RTU conversion. Note that the data is not successful because the radio cannot interpret the messages. Now, I will re-enable TCP to RTU conversion and send Modbus TCP messages to the remote. Data can now pass from the master to the end device and back via the remote. The remote is now able to translate the Modbus TCP messages and produce the required response.